Conspiracy to kill a 20-year-old Californian who went to Pakistan to pursue Islamic studies and then went to war against the United States tonight faces the possibility of life in prison. John Walker Lynn will be charged with conspiracy to kill Americans and he will be tried in a federal court, not a military tribunal. John Walker's parents say they want to know how and where he is. We don't know whether he's been removed from Afghanistan to a different location, and uh, we don't know his exact physical condition, the extent of his injuries. Walker's father tells NBC News today that although he and the boy's mother knew their son was in the Middle East studying Islam, they had no idea he had joined up with the Taliban. We had no contact whatsoever from the 1st of May until uh, this Saturday when we saw those uh, really, really terrible images uh, on television. At Camp Rhino in southern Afghanistan, the U.S. Marines are building a detention center for possible high-level prisoners. The only detainee held there now is that 20-year-old American, John Walker, who was apparently fighting for the Taliban. Senator Trent Lott believes Walker betrayed his country. I don't know all the details, but he certainly appears to be a traitor. Walker could face charges ranging from terrorism to treason. In the summer of 2001, prosecutors say Walker trained at this al-Qaeda terrorist camp in Afghanistan and even joined in a small group that met and talked briefly with bin Laden himself, who thanked them for taking part in a jihad. The FBI says Walker heard from one of his camp instructors that bin Laden had sent people to the U.S. to carry out suicide attacks. He joined Taliban fighters on the front lines, prosecutors say, battling the Northern Alliance, retreating under fire from U.S. airstrikes, eventually surrendering with other Taliban members. Today's charges accuse Walker of conspiring to kill American servicemen in Afghanistan and of providing material support to terrorist organizations. Both charges carry a maximum penalty of life in prison. Arriving under heavy guard, John Walker Lynn came to court today with a new appearance, hair cut close and beard shaved, both done, says the Pentagon, at his request in military custody. His parents talked with him this morning for about 20 minutes, their first visit since he'd left the U.S. two years ago. My love for him is unconditional and absolute, and I am grateful to God that he has been brought home to his family. John loves America. We love America. The surprising plea deal comes just over a month before John Walker Lynn's trial was to open. Lawyers for both sides didn't work out the details until after midnight. After grinning and waving at his family, Lynn stood before the judge today. He admitted fighting in support of the Taliban, which is illegal, and carrying two hand grenades while doing it, also illegal. Maximum penalty, 20 years in prison. Lynn also agreed to tell all he knows about what he saw in Afghanistan. Prosecutors say a 20-year sentence, as long as some spies get, is fair. This plea agreement represents an opportunity for the government to get a very tough sentence, to get cooperation, and to conserve precious resources for the future challenges we face in the war against terrorism. In return, the government drops terrorism charges against Lynn, which carried a maximum sentence of life in prison, and today's agreement omits any mention of CIA agent Johnny Michael Spann, shot to death shortly after questioning Lynn in a prison uprising. Who did John Lynn ever hurt? He never hurt anybody but he was a soldier of the Taliban.